Hello and welcome back. I am going to be showing you how to make spaghetti sauce like grandma used to make in just one hour. One of the things I love about this is it only requires one pot, so we're only going to have one dish to do after this. So first, turn on your Instant Pot to the saute feature. Drizzle in a little oil of your choosing. I like olive oil. We're going to use the saute feature to brown our meat. So I have here three and a half pounds of ground beef. I obviously don't need that much, so I'm gonna cut to about there. So that's probably gonna be a pound and change of ground beef that I'm going to put in the Instant Pot while it is on saute with the oil to start browning it. Ground beef that we're gonna place in the pot and be careful, it's going to sizzle. Right, you remember you turned it on to saute. I like my meat more fine, so I like to chop it up. Next, we're going to take our white onion that we have chopped and add it into our browning meat. It's gonna let those onions start to sweat and caramelize as the meat browns. Give you a really, really nice flavor. A little salt. And just a little bit. Next, our garlic powder. If you have cloves of garlic, feel free to use those. I would probably use three or four cloves of garlic. I'm going to use about a tablespoon and change of the minced garlic. As always with any of these recipes, feel free to adjust to your liking. That is my heaping tablespoon. I lied, did I say one? I'm going to use two heaping tablespoons of the gar minced garlic. If you do not already own an Instant Pot and are interested in it, I do have an Amazon link down in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. You want one of these fun tools for yourself. The nice thing about using an Instant Pot for this is you don't have to wait for the meat or the onions to be totally done before you go on to the next step. So our next step is going to be canned tomato sauce. I prefer the Aldi brand tomato sauce. This is from Giant, and only because the Aldi is so much less expensive. I think the Aldi tomato sauce is only 45 cents a jar, whereas this I think is 89 cents a jar. Take your tomato sauce, pour it in over your meat and onions. Next, we are going to add some oregano. This is the Stone Mill brand from Aldi. This is 95 cents for this jar. I know McCormick is a more common brand, but they are very expensive, so I like these. They're small, so if I can't get a big one from BJ's, then I like the 95 cent ones from Aldi. So I always take my top completely off because these holes just aren't big enough for me to get enough spice. Don't be afraid of spice. One thing a lot of people do is under season their food. You can see that was a pretty full jar and I've used about a quarter of that jar. Then I have the last of my Italian seasoning and I'm gonna use probably all of that. I'm going to pull that top off. I didn't use quite all of it. Ooh, all right, starting to smell really good. Starting to smell like grandma's kitchen used to. Parsley. You don't need as much parsley. And a lot of people say that parsley does not add flavor. It does, it just adds a little bit of freshness. So that's going to be, that's about half a tablespoon. Yeah, it might be a full tablespoon. It is kind of a lot. We're gonna add garlic powder. And on these big jars, I do usually open this side, however, for some reason, this particular jar, this side, flows really well. So I'm going to use the side with the holes in it. And yes, I am going to use garlic powder even though we already put garlic in it. I'm gonna call it about half a tablespoon. This is what our sauce looks like before we pressure cook it. What we're gonna do is set our pressure cooker to high pressure for 50 minutes and hit start and then let it naturally release and then we will be done. That pressure cooking is what helps the flavors meld together really well instead of having to simmer it on the stove all day like grandma did. I have the Instant Pot Ultra so I have 
a dial, you may have buttons here on your models. I'm gonna scroll over to pressure cook. I'm gonna punch my dial, punch it again, roll it up to 50 minutes, and hit start. And that is all I will have to do. So now when my sauce is done, I'm going to do it with gluten-free spaghetti. I am gonna cook the pasta in a separate pot. However, I have been told and I have seen on other Instant Pot YouTubers channels, and I'll actually link to Pressure Luck Cooking down below. He's amazing, go check him out. That you can do pasta right in the pot. And once your sauce is done, you just add the pasta, make sure it's covered with the sauce, and then do the pasta for 10 minutes on high pressure. And supposedly that pasta absorbs the sauce really well. I'm gluten-free, so I have not tried that. And I, I have tried it with gluten-free noodles, and I have not yet perfected gluten-free noodles in the Instant Pot. I am working on it, and when I do get it right, I will let you guys know. You guys will in fact be the first to know when I do in fact get that right. But I will be doing the pasta separately. So fun fact, fun tip for those of you who are not eating gluten-free. so much for watching if you got value out of this go ahead and click that like button below and subscribe to the channel for more recipes and shopping tips that will help save you time and money as always stay safe stay healthy and until next time bye